Hey y'all, it's Louisa and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am decluttering my son's room. I'm reorganizing it, doing a whole room makeover for my son for his 13th birthday. This was a gift that I wanted to give to him and we are going to see the entire process from beginning to the end. Now in this video, you will get to see that I did have plenty of help. I did not do this on my own and so I want to make that very clear because the garage declutter, that was something else. <laughs> but you will get to see in this video where a lot of that garage clutter came from. Um, we are building furniture, we're testing paint, we're decluttering, we're organizing, all the things. I hope that you enjoy. Y'all, my son is about to pull this mirror out and put it. This is one of the things that we got him for his room makeover. Just trying to capture it because he wants to get it out already. The room is not made over, but get it out early. So he's so excited. We kind of decluttered his room a lot. It smells so good in here. This is. They brought this one in because they thought this was the mirror, but this is the bed. You don't have to tape it, baby. It's a desk. Oh, this is the desk. Just slip it under. Oh, it won't fit under the bed. Yeah, I was going to say. It's because it's not stable. We had to pick it up. Okay, honey, can you help? My birthday. <laughs> oh, and it's her birthday today. Uh -huh. This is being in the moment. Look how nice this stuff is, guys. Mm -hmm. See the vision? Yes, the vision is coming together. This is his desk. But he's excited. Oh, <laughs> and I, yes, they have to use my kitchen knives. <laughs> mm -hmm. away from your Big sister is teaching little brother. He's not doing like this, but, um, mm -hmm. told me, showed me in the knife, um, what is it? Etiquette? Oh. Please? Okay, stop doing that. Mm -hmm. okay. They need help to move this back to the garage. They thought this was the mirror. It's the desk. It's too flimsy though. On the bed. I can help you. We just gotta move it back to the garage. I got your number. But they're trying to get this thing crack a lacking. Okay, y'all, I did not get to do a shopping haul, which I had planned to do, and then the plans fell through. Um, so I am going to kind of share what I was able to purchase for my son's room. We got him a mirror. We got him, which is what they're opening up right now, a desk and a new bed. Um, we switched over the mattress from my daughter's bed to his new bed, and then the mattress he got we were able to give to my daughter to use for her room, so she upgraded as well. You don't have your own mirror, you don't have to come to my room, you don't have to be all up in the restroom. This is different. Okay, and then if for those of you who are interested, all the things that we purchased for his room makeover, I will be happy to share that with you and point it out to you at the end of this video when we do the final walkthrough. And I will try to leave a link to everything in the description box below. What's up you guys? My name is Louisa and welcome to my channel, The Ever Growing Mommy. In this video, we are starting on my son's room. We've already done one um, declutter. I think today we're gonna have to do another declutter. Um, but we are, have paint ready, we have furniture ready to put in there and build. Um, and it just seems so chaotic, like I, we don't, I don't know where to start. I had a meltdown this morning, called my husband on the way to the grocery store and just really unleashed all of what was inside of me and I'm so grateful that God gave me a helpmate. He gave me a strong man who is able to calm my thoughts and help me think things through. He is not just my husband, but he's my partner and my best friend and helps me in my um, <sighs> highs and lows. And so I share that with you because it's a real thing when you are going to do a project or 
have something that you have a task that's kind of a big thing to do. It's going to take a lot of hard work and thought process. Um, there is times where you're going to get frustrated and <sighs> thanks be to God that I have an outlet and someone to help me through it. So with that being said, said, let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know what all we're going to get done today, but um, I just got home and so I don't know what my husband and son have already done. But uh, hopefully you saw clips before of what his room looked like before this. And um, if not, then I'll, it, I'll put it in right now. But I have groceries. I'm going to take them inside. We were thirsty. We had no drinks except um, my energy drinks. And so I had to go get groceries. So I got groceries, got a bunch of vegetables. It's summer, hot. So we live off of drinks. And I'm trying to incorporate vegetables and hopefully this week will be successful in that. But let's go ahead and get into this video. So they've already moved this that was here over there. And they have, it's gonna get bad before it gets better. I guess it's gonna get worse before it gets better, but they emptied all these drawers, all the stuff on top into these boxes. Good thing I didn't break these down. Yeah. Okay, y'all, as you can see, my son just had a lot of stuff and just really didn't have places to put it. So when we um, changed his room, uh, we the decluttering helped a lot, but also the items that I purchased for him are a big help and a space saver. So I'm just showing you the results of the declutter, the first declutter that he and my daughter did. I'll give y'all a real quick um, view of what we decluttered. So we decluttered all of this, which I have online posted to sell. We decluttered all of this. Sadly, it makes me sad to see it. Um, and then these are the clothes that came out of his room, that little bundle right there as well. And then we also, decluttered a lot of books and magazines lots and lots and lots so that's what the declutter we did for my son's room we also this got decluttered um from his room and i just wanted to give y'all a little view of what was decluttered from his room okay y'all now we're just moving his dresser out of his room he had a really beautiful wood set um a couple of years old maybe two years old i love this furniture um but he definitely needed something oh, we're coming along we're gonna move this out move all of these out mirror that and that out and this is where everything's being stored right now it's not wiped down a lot of dust lots and lots of dust but it'll get cleaned up once a week before we put it in my room all the dust on the tv yeah y'all i just got up from my nap and my children are i'm so proud of them that mattress is so heavy it's the best mattress though Thank y'all. Okay, now we're going to go back into his room just so that we can see the progress of where we're at. Dresser is gone. Nightstand is gone. Um, top mattress is gone, which was really, really heavy. And by the way, that refrigerator he got for his birthday, I just wanted to... I did not get to share that, but he did get that for his birthday from his sister. Um, she, this daughter, she did the majority of the painting and cleaning and she was really a huge help um, in getting this makeover completed she was doing the things that saved my back and my my just my body um, from aching such as cleaning the baseboards and um, this is her room and we stored a lot of stuff in her room um, now I'm just going through all of his clothes in each drawer and I'm decluttering and deciphering what he's going to keep and what he's not going to keep. Um, this was actually a long process and I did allow him to look through each pile that I made and he also, um, his opinion was also included in 
to what we were keeping and what we were letting go of. Those are empty. Got his mattress, the piles. These are his tops, his bottoms. And this is the clothes that he's not keeping. He's gotta go through this stuff real quick. And yeah. This is a brush that I found at Home Depot. I've never seen one like this before, but um, I'm so glad that I did because how cool is I've that never brush? Seen this brush before. Something that I would like to recommend to you if you're going to paint a space in your room is to start with the corners. The corners take a lot of attention to detail. They do take a lot more paint than you would think. Um, if you start with the corners, then move to the baseboards and the edges of the windows and doors, it will make it so much easier when you're getting ready to roll the wall, I'm sorry, to paint the walls with the rollers. Okay, the first thing we did was paint the corners and now I'm going to do the edges but I need a cardboard for that so this side was a little tricky but thank god for the brush that I had it made it a lot easier definitely recommend to have a wet rag with okay you. I had to make a pit stop to Walmart I forgot one of these I don't have any um, and if I do, I don't know where it's at, so I had to go get one. Um, pit stop. I already poured out the paint, so I'm hoping it hasn't dried all the way, but let's go ahead and see what the room looks like right okay. now. This is what we're working with. Ooh, the plastic bag is in the paint. So, definitely wish I started sooner. Oh, my baby girls, come to the rescue. Look at her. Princess, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This is what it we've got done so far. It looks so good. We didn't know what we were going to do with the trim and the doors and the ceiling, but we think that we're just going to pretty much leave it the way it is. If we painted that, it would have to be another time. But So we haven't got up there, and it's simply because it's taking... We're trying to do a good job. And so the idea was to do the corners and the edges and the ceiling and the trim first, but time was, it's just so tedious. And so my princess over there is doing all the other spots that I just didn't have patience for. Cause down here, I started getting real sloppy down here. But I love it. It looks good. It's giving boy, teenage boy vibes. And I hope it's everything he wants. Eventually, I want to put a ceiling fan up here. I think that would be good for him to have. Yeah, I think a ceiling fan would be perfect in here. But this is what we're looking at. And stay tuned because we're not done. This room is going to be so completely different than what it was. And I just hope that y'all are enjoying all of uh, the process because baby it's a process so this is the last wall that i did i don't know it's really dark in here but this is the last wall that i did and you can see a lot of streaks like where you can still see the paint underneath and so it definitely needs one more coat i'm out of paint this is one gallon so we're gonna go tomorrow and get one more gallon <sighs> and hopefully that gallon will do it, the trick of the last and final coat and it's just gonna take all the streaks away but this room is gonna look so good we may do the ceiling I don't know it just really depends on how much paint I have left but yeah for sure we're gonna do one more coat Leave, leave the um, doors for now. And uh, yeah. But this is what we're working with. I did feel splatter as I was painting. But because of the carpet, I feel like it'll dry and it'll be easy to pick off. I could be wrong, but I think it'll be fine. The carpet kind of disguises the paint. It's dark. But anyways... I could not have done it without this girlfriend right here. Turn around and smile, baby.
<laughs> my sweet girl. The room from out here. So he wanted it dark, and so that's what he's going to get. I'm excited. But he is going to have lights, like the glowy lights. I don't know what they're called. LED lights? Oh, the LED lights. Yeah, he's going to have the LED lights on the perimeter of the ceiling around his TV and his bed is also going to have the LED light, so it's going to be nice. Let me show you what the house looks like right now because I want it to be realistic for you. When you're doing a project, it is going to get ugly before it gets better. It's always worse before it gets better. We have stuff everywhere. Could have not done this. Last month, we had too much going on. But it's all going to be worth it once it's done. Just going to do a quick little walkthrough so you can see how we have to store everything in the house. So that we can get this completed. The light's off. So basically all his furniture is in the hallway right now. We're going to replace this, um, I believe, in Christmas. He wants a monitor, so I think that's what we're going to get for Christmas. Um, this bed is going in our room. We may be getting him some new curtains. Um, the dresser is going in our room. All of this is going to be in our room. Y'all, I tried so hard to convince my husband that we needed my son's bedroom set, but it just did not work out. We had to agree to disagree. His bed set is currently being stored in our garage. But once my office becomes available again, I'm going to set it up in my office so that my grandkids have somewhere to sleep. This is what it looks like. I, you know what? In my lower back, like really bad. I was wondering why my neck was hurting. Like this part? Yeah. <gasps> my poor baby girl. Wait, I'm gonna get some medicine. Okay, get you some meds. So this is his desk right here. This is his shoe rack. But yes, I'm ready to do one more coat. I think before we do the first, the last coat, you should do do the touch ups on the top, Miha. Sure that. No, it's good. So as I stated, we got a lot of his stuff from Amazon. But um, one of the things that I love about Amazon is that it comes to you. What I don't love is that you have to put it together. So I was so grateful for my daughter's boyfriend um, being willing to help us put all of his stuff together, especially that desk. Tedious things like that I don't have patience for. And so he definitely saved me a lot of stress and time. The room walls are done and done. My daughter did a very professional job. She did so good. They're solid. I don't see any streaks. None whatsoever. It just looks so good. Crisp. What's the word I'm looking for? Looks really good. So we don't know exactly how we're going to set up the room, but they got the desk done. The desk looks so good, guys. It looks so good. I think the black was a good idea, son. Everything black. He was, a he was huh? <laughs> yeah. So this is what the closet looks like. I'm going to have to declutter, reorganize, and all that good stuff in this closet. So this is a good before. Which it's already been decluttered once. We're going to have to do it again. Okay, now we're going through his closet, just decluttering and going through every single little thing in his closet. Um, that's part of the process of decluttering. You have to really look at everything that you have, every single item, and decipher. Do I need this? Do I want this? Will I use this? Somebody's working outside, so it sounds kind of loud, but... Ooh, this is nice quality, you know? Huh? 
So it's a tray for his desk. He can put his phone, charger right here, opening. Oh, yeah, yeah. That tray was one of the items that I had purchased for his room from Amazon, and I will leave that in the description box below. When we were going through the closet, it was really sweet um, because I got to see a lot of things that I hadn't seen since he was a little boy. Um, it was a bittersweet moment. It was sad. It was also relieving because we got rid of a lot of stuff that he just did not use. Yeah, these. So right now, this is the pile that's... that he's not keeping, but except the shoes, and that's the pile we're keeping. Oh. And this is what we've got so far. I'm just kind of going top to bottom. There's his little shoe rack. I just don't think that shoe rack's gonna be big enough. <laughs> He's gonna need a bigger one. Or a taller one. Or a taller one, yeah. So cute. And then, yeah, we're well on our way, but here's where we got so far. So the idea is to put his clothes all in the closet. So I'm trying to declutter, figure out what he's keeping, what he's not, and then what he's using on a regular basis to what he's keeping for memory. So all the mem memory stuff is going to be up there. And then this is going to be all clothes and shoes. Right, guys, we cleaned out this area. I'm about to fill this up with his clothes, but I'm going to go to that shelf next. This is the keep pile. This is the not keeping pile. And sister's working on the bed. He's working on his shoes. we've gotten we got the refrigerator from here moved it there that's where he wants it and now we're putting the bed together they're putting the bed together and Carlos is monitoring mm -hmm. and this is still his pile so while they're putting the bed together what I'm doing is I'm going through this stuff and I'm putting on Facebook market what we can sell um, this is stuff that he's keeping I still have to go through that top shelf. I'm sorry I'm not able to share like the actual me doing it, but it's just, it's too chaotic and my battery's dying. So I can only show y'all progress as I go. At this point it looks chaotic, but to be honest, it felt relieving because I could definitely see we were making major progress. So this is what the bed looks like right now, guys. We are just coming along and my heart is breaking because the toys, we are saying goodbye. I do want to share that going through all of his stuff, even though it was a bittersweet moment, I got emotional because I got to see things that um, just brought back a lot of old memories, but nevertheless, we did have to prune things out, and so this is a, pictures of what we pruned out of his room, um, all the little boy things, and we got rid of all that clutter. I just want to give you a reminder of what the room looked like before we go into the final walkthrough of this makeover. Um, I hope that you've been enjoying this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, would you do me a favor and give it a thumbs up? Because the more I get views, the more thumbs up and interaction I get, um, the more YouTube will put my videos out there and reach other mommies like me who need motivation to get organized. I'm showing you what we posted, all these items, the shoes, the hoodies, toys. I posted all of these things on Facebook Market and um, I'm grateful to say that most of it sold. I did give some of it away, but this is what his closet looks like now. And this is the progress of where we're at. 
and very soon I will share with you what the room looks like completely finished. And the money that we earned off of the sales on Facebook Market, I was able to put towards his new school clothes. Here we are, the final walkthrough, and this is what his room looks like today. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm totally loving the minimal vibes that my son has going on. We are going to decorate the walls, um, but this is what it turned out. His bed is super cool, and uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and share with any mama that you feel like could use the motivation and encouragement to live a more less stressed life. He has all this space and that's exactly what he wanted. He is a soccer player through and through and he just wanted space so he can kick around his ball the bedding that he had before this did not allow him to have much space, especially this much in the floor area. But that's what he wanted, and he wanted a smaller bed. So we got him this bed. These are sensor lights down here. This light changes above his bed. These are his boxes we're going to display at some point. And then there's his closet with his teenage boy clothes, teenage shoes. So we got rid of his dresser. It took up a major spot in that area. And he now has all of his clothes and shoes in this closet. And this is what the room looks like. That's his little hamper. The walls look amazing. They look really, really good. We decided not to paint the ceiling. We are going to get him a ceiling fan at some point. But this is what his room looks like. So spacious. We still don't have bedding for him, so he's what we're okay i'll tell you what we're going to get so we're going to get a ceiling fan i've got to get bedding for him i want to get him some new curtains we want to display these boxes on the wall i would like to put a light inside of here a sensor light so when he opens the door it turns on He still needs um, one more item that's sitting in my Amazon cart, which is a chair. And then for Christmas, we plan to get him a computer. Um, so that monitor or that TV is going to be replaced with a computer monitor. And that's it. That's all that we're still lacking. Um, but this is his room. He's very simple. He's very minimal, just like his mama and it makes me so happy he loves his room we are going to decorate the walls we haven't got there yet but we started with that i'm going to show you what we purchased we purchased this desk off of amazon um he got this mirror for his birthday and, and it does have a little tray um we did purchase this tray here for all his electronics and um essentials that everyday essentials we got this um what would you call this stand here and it does have a drawer i'm just not going to be able to open it all the way but it does have a drawer i got and then this is the desk has two drawers i gave him this trash can that i had this is something that else that I had. Um, I would like to also put a shelf up here at some point um, so he can have his trophies and these things on the shelf. That's going to be another time. Obviously, we got this mirror. We got the bed from Amazon. The mattresses. My daughter was sleeping on a twin bed. She upgraded. 
and he had a full bed, so she got his mattress. Um, we purchased also this um, shoe rack, which came in a tiny, tiny box. I didn't think it was going to come out to this big, but it worked out. And that's it. I believe that's it. Um, all of his memories are up there. We're just playing his guitar here. And yeah, I did get him this for his birthday with all of his bathroom essentials. And that is the final reveal. Let me know in the comments below what you think. It is giving total minimal vibes, but also teenage boy vibes. And I, I love it. And I know he is totally loving it. So much space. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, <laughs>